Have you ever found yourself immersed in a television series that not only entertained but also left an indelible mark on your perspective? The Master, a thought-provoking TV series from 1984, is one such narrative that has captivated audiences since its debut. Whether it's the first time you witnessed its compelling storyline or the impact it had on your life, The Master has a unique ability to resonate with viewers on a personal level. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facets of this series. Did you know that The Master was a trailblazer in addressing societal issues, pushing the boundaries of conventional storytelling? This series, with its gripping narrative and nuanced characters, has spurred conversations and reflections that extend far beyond the screen. Before we explore more, we're curious, when was the first time you tuned into The Master? Can you recall a personal anecdote that highlights how this series has influenced your life? We invite you to share your cherished memories and experiences in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the collective appreciation for this timeless television gem. As we navigate through the labyrinth of the Master's plot, let's pause and reflect on the impact it has had on viewers over the years. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? We're eager to hear your tales, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments section. Your insights contribute to the rich tapestry of perspectives surrounding the Master. Now, let the curtain rise on the random facts about the Master. Did you know that the series was ahead of its time, exploring themes that remain relevant to this day? The Master's ability to resonate with audiences speaks to the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling. Feel free to continue this conversation by sharing your thoughts and memories below. We're all ears. Your unique connection to the Master is what makes this discussion truly compelling. The Master, a television series that aired in 1984, stands as a unique and iconic creation in the realm of action-adventure dramas. Conceived by Michael Sloan and inspired by Eastern philosophy, the show follows the journey of John Peter McAllister, played by Lee Van Cleef, a martial arts expert and sensei seeking his long-lost daughter. Accompanied by his brash but skilled young prot Max Keller, portrayed by Timothy Van Patten, the duo embarks on a journey through the American West, encountering a range of adversaries and challenges. Blending elements of martial arts, mysticism, and a touch of humor, the show distinguished itself with its unconventional narrative structure and the chemistry between its central characters. The master showcased a distinctive style, fusing action sequences with McAllister's sagely wisdom and Mac's irreverent charm. Despite its brief run of just 13 episodes, the series left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent martial arts-themed television and film productions. Its impact resonates in the enduring fascination with the mystique of martial arts, exemplified by the enigmatic figure of McAllister. Although the master may not have achieved widespread acclaim during its initial run, its cult status has grown over the years, attesting to the show's lasting appeal and cultural significance in the landscape of 1980s television. The legacy of the master endures as a testament to its unique blend of action, philosophy, and character dynamics, offering a timeless exploration of the martial arts ethos on the small screen. In The Master, the character Akasa, portrayed by Sho Kasugi, breaks away from traditional ninja portrayals seen in earlier films like Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja. Unlike the conventional black-clad assassins, Akasa's costume features metal chains around the hooded part of his face and calves, reminiscent of ancient knights rather than a classic Japanese warrior. The only nod to tradition is the color black. Akasa's role goes beyond a distinctive costume. His backstory reveals a compelling narrative element. He is a former pupil of John Peter McAllister, the main character, and is driven by a vengeful mission. After McAllister leaves Japan to search for his long-lost daughter in the United States, Akasa pursues him relentlessly. His motive is clear, he aims to kill McAllister and claim the title of the Master Ninja for himself. This explains Akasa's persistent appearances wherever McAllister and his prot Max travel, always attempting to eliminate his former sensei. Sho Kasugi, who embodies Akasa, brings a sense of continuity to his role. Notably, three years prior to the master, Kasugi played a similar villain in his debut film, Enter the Ninja. In both instances, he portrays an evil black ninja, showcasing his versatility as an actor within the martial arts genre. 
These unique aspects contribute to the master's appeal, offering viewers a fresh take on the portrayal of ninja characters. The departure from traditional costume design and the intricate backstory of Akasa add layers of complexity to the show, elevating it beyond typical martial arts dramas. The fusion of Eastern martial arts philosophy with these narrative elements contributes to the master's enduring legacy, further solidifying its place in the realm of action-adventure dramas. Bill Conti, the Oscar-winning composer, not only crafted the captivating main theme for the master, but also lent his musical talent to several episodes. Interestingly, Conti's creative genius extended beyond the small screen, as he concurrently composed the original score for the blockbuster film. The Karate Kid, released in the summer of 1984, coinciding with the conclusion of The Master in August. This dual contribution solidifies Conti's imprint on the era's martial arts-themed entertainment. Intriguingly, The Master concluded without revealing the identity of John Peter McAllister's daughter. The enigma surrounding her character persisted throughout the series. Notably, Janine Turner's portrayal in a blackmail scheme and the New Orleans episode, where she acted as an informant, brought an air of mystery. These narrative twists, coupled with the absence of a definitive reveal, added layers of suspense to the show's conclusion. Moreover, the discerning viewer could easily spot Sho Kasugi stepping into the fray when Lee Van Cleef engaged in combat. Kasuga's distinctive physicality, poses, eyes, and vocalizations set his portrayal of Akasa apart. This subtle yet discernible shift in the fight scenes underscored the nuanced dynamics within the series. As we delve into the master's multifaceted elements from Conti's musical influence to the unresolved mystery surrounding McAllister's daughter, and the subtle cues and fight sequences it becomes evident that the show's impact extends beyond the typical martial arts drama. These diverse facets contribute to the enduring legacy of the master, making it a noteworthy entry in the realm of action-adventure dramas from the 1980s. As we bid adieu to the labyrinth of time that the master has woven, let the tapestry of memories unfurl within your mind. This journey through the corridors of 1984 has been more than a mere series. It's been an odyssey, a visceral exploration of the human spirit entangled with the enigmatic allure of the master. Now, as you stand at the crossroads of reflection, ponder the fragments of episodes etched in the recesses of your consciousness. Was it the electric tension between the characters that resonated with you? Or perhaps the haunting melodies of the soundtrack that echoed in the corridors of your soul? The master, with its timeless tapestry, invites you to excavate those moments that became imprinted in the mosaic of your personal narrative. Take a moment to share your thoughts, your cherished fragments from this episodic symphony. Unleash the floodgates of nostalgia and let the digital realms resonate with your stories. Whether it's a quiet realization or a thunderous revelation, your connection to the master is a thread in the grand tapestry of collective memories. In this convergence of narratives, as we collectively celebrate the indelible impact of the master, remember that your voice is an integral note in this harmonious chorus. Share your favorite scenes, unravel the layers of emotions, and let the world witness the unique hues of your perspective. As we part ways, I extend my deepest gratitude for embarking on this temporal voyage with us. Your time and attention have been the fuel that propelled us through the annals of 1984. Until our paths cross again, may the echoes of the master linger in the corridors of your thoughts. Thank you for your time, your memories, and your presence in this shared narrative.